yo 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 what's going on everyone it's tk and today i'm gonna show you hydra with the addition of rock loons and i'm gonna show it on ring bases box bases and diamond bases so without any further ado let's dive in okay first hit we are here on this diamond base now guys look at the air defenses and how you want to send your sui depending on the cc you don't really want to send them to the left as in 12 o'clock because if they go inside the compartments they can pull the cc so that's why we're going to choose this side to go with double rock loon of course doubles up for the sweepers and the area you drop the rock loons is usually where you don't drop the sui now in this video i also drop a rock loons kind of close to the sui but um yeah don't worry now we're gonna go with that blimp all things in and the queen you can see the expo is on her but it doesn't matter the expo will go down eventually now look at this clone i'm gonna clone behind town hall into all the defenses we possibly can so we get the nice loons on top of every defense and everything goes down and here is where depending on where your heroes are but yeah i mean guys the cc came out because my warden is on ground okay don't get me wrong this was my personal mistake so yeah, I can't really do much about it, but you see the rage I placed was for the dragons to go ahead and take down the CC. That CC alone is wasting so much time from my dragons to go deep and I'll actually tank those defenses or take down the CC. Now here's where I drop the champion because there is no more CC troops to care. Whenever the CC is down or you've killed the CC troops, this is where now you look for that champion drop and try to hamper somehow kind of with the heroes or... If you want to go against heroes, look at where it is. The ricochet cannon is on the lower side. If the ricochet cannon is on the top side, that's where you're going to have trouble sending the champion directly into it. So that's why we send the champion further away from those cannons and, of course, the damage. But we're going to freeze this back end and we have three heroes alive trying to get this area completely done and dusted. Unfortunately, with my warden on ground, but sometimes, man, you can't change it, man. Sometimes you come from a friendly challenge or from a tournament, something, and you didn't change the warden. It's unfortunate, but we still managed to get this triple. Let's move on. And I have a ring base actually in this video that was anti-dragon and i'm gonna tell you why and how i know it's an anti-dragon so let's go now this is one of those ring bases that navi was against us like they were running against us that's what i mean now you can see these air defenses you can't get them with rocket loons or you cannot get them with a flame flinger or even your heroes that's the thing the air defenses and the expo placement are different you can see how the expos are on the corners so this base is designed to defend such strategies but let's see how i take it down now we're gonna go with the dragon to funnel the queen already funnel the left side with the infernal dragon and the rest of the dragons going in i'm gonna drop these rock loons to go early and go get those early traps again the expo is on the queen it doesn't matter that much guys but always drop your queen first never drop king queen because queen might go wrong and look at that clone we're getting cloned left and right we got the monolith on the top side hopefully come on i'm gonna freeze it ah oh, there's so many traps we might not be able to get that monolith, but we did get the Inferno on the other hand. So I'm going to rage. I'm going to freeze again these dragons that are moving through that base to get to the clan castle. That's it. Now look at this champion drop. Again, I'm dropping in where the CC went down, but it's in a way that King could tank the Ricochet Cannon with his ability or the Queen. And the champion needs to get the Eagle because we didn't get the Eagle with the Dragons. If you drop champion opposite side, by the time they will reach the Eagle, your Sui will be so much lower on HP. Trust me. So if the Eagle is up, drop the champion on top of it and try to get it. You can see the Hog Puppet, how it's tanking beautifully for my champion so it goes back invisible and the base is gone this was an anti-dragon with this style of air defense placement and we managed to get it especially with two or three single infernos on this base so it was this strategy is just really enjoyable in my opinion if you want to do a spam and enjoy it at least not roost rider okay but let's move on to a box base all right on a box base and guys i actually do make a mistake here and it's a funny one because the mortar on this base was not, you know, maxed. So I didn't even see the mortar that was in front of this archer tower. So I dropped all my rock loons and they went to the mortar. So we unfortunately not going to be able to get that air defense. But you already saw my plan. 
the rock and loose was for the air defense and the queen for the other air defense so now when we zap that sweeper we're gonna go ahead with the hydra from the side and one thing i've heard a lot about about this clone hydra is that what happens if there's a tornado behind the town hall well we're gonna see it right now look at that clone we're gonna catch the loons and then clone them into the monolith but yeah i mean if there was a tornado maybe those loons that went to the monolith would have stayed up maybe but you kind of not really know always because if you know in legends league a lot of people are putting tornadoes for baits of super archers so that's why this strategy is usually not even having the tornado behind town hall on i would say seven out of eight attacks a day so I mean, is that a good thing or a bad thing? That's definitely a good thing for you, but the attacker will have troubles later on because if they switch the tornado, they will get triple with super archers and they really don't want to do that because Hydra is a lot less in Legend League than super archers. So don't worry, take that clone spell and enjoy it and clone as much as you can, okay? So now, of course, the champion with her ability, you can see the hog and the haste while it's just amazing combo. They're gonna demolish this entire area super quickly. And now we got dragons and the queen with the healer puppet. Of course, you want to have the healer puppet because of those expos when they lock onto the queen, sometimes you may lose her ability, but the healers will always bring her back to full HP. Simple as that. This is how we got this box based on. I made a mistake here and I think you guys like me making mistakes. So next attack, I make even bigger mistake, but we're still gonna be able to manage to triple so let's see what i made and what did i do wrong now here we are on another box base and guys this mistake is actually huge please try not to do this okay so you can see the air defense on the top left hand side i could have taken that down with three rock loons on the archer tower but this is where i don't do that i dropped the rock loons for this air defense to try to get it but it didn't matter it was just hurting my dragon something that you can also do but look at this I forgot the warden ability and oh my god there is traps and we landed early but I'm cloning close to the town hall and there is a tornado but don't panic look at me I'm holding the freeze because the moment one loon drop on the town hall the town hall will activate and you're able to take it down so we are fine we're doing good man okay we're going forward now again the dragons in the core I'm gonna rage them freeze for them so they get the cc and that is done there you can see i add the king meanwhile doing this stuff and i'm in front of the queen so you know she has that tank in front of her whenever i know now they are going into the right direction simple as that and i'm just tanking for this inferno dragon i don't really want it to go to my main army because right now yeah my army is kind of fading out i'm not even gonna lie but we still got the champion so it's not the end of the world but you can see how I'm tanking with those cleanup troops so these infernal dragons don't come to my main army. That's why I have a cleanup at the first place also. So champion on the warden tower, this is where the king will again kind of lock onto the champion. But because we got the fox, it's a bit, uh, <laughs> yeah, the fox is going to make the champion invisible so the king is going to target the headhunter. But it doesn't matter, look at it, the champion ability can clear the entire side of the base. But on this account, I didn't have the hogs, so it's just Haze Vile and the Royal Gem. Those two also are a good combination. I do believe I had the healing tome with the Warden on this one, just because sometimes on some of my accounts, I don't have other like equipments upgraded to fully like functional equipments, like 15 or 17 or 18 that's why i'm experimenting with different abilities and sometimes even different pets man you never know if some pets is upgrading but that's it hopefully you enjoyed this video me trying to explain how this strategy works with the rock alone and i'll see you on the next video take care and peace